Here we go. Look at all these Dodges, all these overpriced vehicles. Stellantis ain't learned their lesson. Okay, we got the uh, Dodge Durango. This is gonna be the tow and go package. The package you wanna get if you get the uh, Hemi version, the regular old Hemi version. See, with the tow and go package, you're gonna get the Hellcat uh, type wheels on it. You can get the big boy SRT Brembo's. They selling you lot right too, man. They selling that to you too. But you know what I'm saying? It's gonna come on a, what's this, 295 tire? I'm assuming it's, yep, 295 tire, 45 sidewall, 20 inch wheel. Got the Hemi badge on the side. I mean, it looks real good too. This bad boy looks sharp. I love Durango's. I, I cannot lie, I cannot lie. I love Dodge Durango's and this one is very, very nice. Very, very nice. But let's see if that price is nice or is it digging in our butt? Get your hand off my butt, salesman. Get your hand off my butt. <sighs> Come on, Dodge! Look at this price, man. $69,000, man. Come on, man. This is not a $69,000 vehicle, man. And it looks good. I ain't even hating on the looks or nothing like that. Got the nice screen in it. Well, this screen been here for years. Ain't, ain't changed nothing. Got the charger right there. Nice heated and ventilated seats. Got the two badges. You got the flat bottom steering wheel. I don't know why they didn't give you the metal pedals, though. I, wish, I wonder why they didn't give you the metal pedals. It's got the nice dash on it. I mean, this bad boy is sharp. And then when you look at the back, you got the two row seats with the split in the middle so you can walk to the back. Come on, man. For two people in the back, that's two, four, six. It's a six seater. And you got the separate seats so you, can, you ain't got to be all cramped up and everything lovely vehicle i mean lovely even got the sunroof why didn't they get these panamera roofs i wonder why they didn't get these panamera roofs panamera panamera i don't know you know what i'm trying to say why didn't they get these those roofs still nice though real nice vehicle lovely vehicle but come on man 66 thousand what is 66 or 68 thousand what was it uh 69 69 thousand so after taxes times and all that we looking at about 73, 75, maybe $75,000. $75,000 for a regular Hemi is crazy. Not saying it's nothing bad with a regular Hemi, but I'm just saying. Here go another uh, Hemi right here, Hemi version. With the white with the blue stripe, I like that, but I hate those. Those wheels is hot doo-doo snacks. Hot doo-doo right there. Hot doo-doo. You know hot doo-doo is horrible. <laughs> hot doo-doo with the major, with the major, major lot of rot. Come on, man. This bad boy ain't moved in weeks. They ain't moved this bad boy in weeks with the horrible uh running boards. You know I hate these running boards. Every time I see them, I get disgusted. It's got keyless entry, though. It's going to come with uh, regular cloth seats. It doesn't have to walk through the back. This ain't even, matter of fact, is this a three row? Is this three rows on this one or just two? No, it's three rows. It's just the seat let down. The seat's let down. They want $62,000 for that. I'd rather give you uh, seven more grand and get the tow and go version. This is horrible. Horrible price. 60, 60 what? $62,000 for this is horrible. This is a, this is a $45,000 vehicle, man. Don't do that. Don't do me like that. Don't do me like that. Don't do me like that, Dodge. You trying to get over on your boy. You trying to bend me over and make me toot my butt in the air. And I ain't doing it. <laughs> here go another one. This going, ooh, this the, is the one you want right here. This is the SRT. 392 Dodge Durango looking good. Look at those wheels. Hey, look at the wheels. Look at the wheels. Look at the wheels. Look at the wheels. Look at the lot rot that's coming with the wheels too, though. <laughs> we hope they ain't got no flat marks, you know, some, some no flat tire marks and all that on it. Hope the flat, I said, hope they ain't got no flat marks on the tires and everything. Hopefully they moving it around a little bit. Got the 392 badge. $88,000 is what it did. When these first came out, you can get a fully loaded Hellcat for that price. Durango, yeah, you can get pretty much a fully loaded Hellcat version of this for eighty-eight thousand dollars when these first came out in twenty twenty-one. Yeah, yeah. Now, now, now they charging that for a, a three ninety-two version, and I ain't lying to you. I'm showing you the price now. Don't, don't say I'm lying to you. It do got the red guts though. It do got the red insides. <laughs> it do got the red guts. Real nice, real nice. Everything else is pretty much the same. As you can see, it looks like the uh, toe and go version, but this one got an um, armrest in the middle. Let me get in the back. Let me get in the back so I can show y'all. And it's got the metal pedals on it. It's nice flat bottom steering wheel, white stitching on this bad boy. As you can see, red with the white stitching. That's real nice too. It's got heated seats in the back. As you can see, it's got heated seats. I'll zoom in on it for those who can't see that good. Heated and ventilated seats in the back. That's crazy, nasty work. Real nice. And it's got heated and ventilated seats in the back, all the way in the third row. That's crazy. That's real nice. I don't know what that do. 
It's real nice. It's nice in here, man. Red guts. Got the roof in it and everything. Got to control your heat back here and everything. This thing is nice, man. What's got the Alcantara roof? Real nice. Real nice. But not no $88,000 nice. Don't be no doofus and magoofus. Don't be no butthead. <laughs> Don't be a butthead and give them $88,000 for this, man. You will be absolutely out your mind. Do you know what you can get for $88,000? You can get an AMG G63 for that price. Yeah, you heard me? An AMG G63. You can get that 610 horsepower. Way more technology. It's probably going to be a little used, but it's probably going to have about 10,000, 15,000 miles on it. That's okay. You get a warranty, you'll be a okay. You see what I'm trying to say? I'm trying to give you, a fa it's still going to be a family car, family sedan, faster than this, same type of uh, performance in the snow, way more luxurious, and it's a better vehicle. Just, I'm just saying, you're going to give them 88 for this when you can go get something like that. You can get your a used TRX fully loaded with low, uh, probably 10, under 10,000 miles for that type of price, 88,000. I'm just throwing you some stuff out there, man. Just throwing you some you can go get a used Hellcat version of this Durango for $88,000 with very low miles. Go on the Car Guru. Go to Car Guru right now and test what I'm saying. Go to Car Gurus right now. Look up on your phone. Dodge Durango Hellcats used. Watch how many pop up for $70,000, $80,000. Cheaper than this bad boy. I ain't lying to you, man. I ain't lying to you. I ain't got to lie to you, baby. I'm a truth teller, baby. I'm trying to tell you the truth, baby. You just don't want to listen because you're hard-headed. You're hard-headed. Don't be hard-headed. Don't be hard-headed and pay $88,000 for a car that's been... What's this, a 2020? This is a 2024. It ain't no 2023, but still. I mean, it look good, though. We're not going to sit here and act like it look good. Matter of fact, leave in the comments. Is this worth $88,000? Is this Dodge Durango 392 SRT worth $88,000? Would you give them $88,000 for this vehicle? Not an ugly vehicle, real sharp vehicle. I'm giving you the whole aspects of it. So just in case you want to say, ah, uh, let me see all of it, T-Light, -like, before I make that judgment. Red guts, roof, flat bottom steering wheel, white stitching in it with the red. Got your real metal pedals. You got your nice newer, newer model screen. Nice little accents on it. It's a very nice vehicle. Very nice vehicle. Six, three rows, six seater. Very nice. Very, very nice vehicle. You gonna give them that eighty-eight thousand dollars though? Is it eighty-eight thousand dollars worth? Got your little spoiler on it. I know that ain't a spoiler, but I always call it a spoiler. Got your dual exhaust. Look at that nice little. You got you got to put some five-inch tips on that. Them little tips are way too little. Them tips are way too little for my my thing. And you got to change this diffuser out. This this diffuser is real basic, magasic, real basic. It can do better than that. It's all-wheel drive. That's what that means. When you see the four with the hashes, it means all-wheel drive. For those who want to know what that means, I just told you. Here goes another one. Last but not least, another Dodge Durango Hemi. Yeah, I sniffled a little bit. Can I sniffle without y'all saying I'm on cocaine? <laughs> can I Can I have a sniffle? Can I go a little bit before y'all say I'm on drugs? <laughs> can I do that? Can I do that? Because last time I did some sniffling a couple times in the video, somebody said, man, a couple people were like, what kind of drugs you on? That's crazy. Y'all nasty with that one, though. But let's do this last one right here, man. This love Dodge Durango. It's going to be an RT. It's going to be the Hemi version, as you can see. It's got, come on, these running boards, come on. They got to do better. Got to do better. It's got keyless entry, as you can see. The price tag going to be on the other side. Price tag going to be on the other side. It's got that white with the blue. I probably would have put a black, but the blue is cool, too. I would have put a black one on there, though. Let's see how much it is, y'all. Sixty-one damn thousand dollars. Sixty-one thousand dollars for this is ridiculous, man. But it do got the nice little cr uh, red interior. That the one that, that, that's supposed to be limited. You, this, this the interior they, they trying to brag about. This little red interior right here. It's cool. It ain't. It ain't nothing special though. It ain't nothing special. It ain't special. It ain't nothing special. It's nice though. It's got the flat bottom steering wheel. Come on, man. It's got a lot of cool amenities on it, but why are you giving these trash wheels? Look at these wheels, man. Look at the garbage wheels. Look at the garbage wheels. Let's say it one more time. Look at the garbage wheels. Come on, now. This is ugly Durango. This Durango right here ugly. I don't care. It's ugly. This is ugly Durango. But uh, with that being said, y'all, I gave y'all Dodge. I said I'm going to do another Dodge video, man. Here we go. Look at all these Dodges, all these overpriced vehicles. Stellantis ain't learned their lesson. Stellantis has not learned their lesson. They still overcharging y'all. Still overcharging us, not just y'all. They overcharging us way too much money. 
But with that being said, man, y'all stay blessed up. I love y'all, man. Y'all enjoy y'all life, man. Enjoy everything. Hopefully y'all have a good work week coming up. Just enjoy life, man. And don't come out here over, just don't come out here overpaying for a vehicle. Just think, do your research before you buy a vehicle. Do your research. Especially on, if you go, if you got to buy a Dodge Hornet, make sure you do your research. And if you do buy one, make sure you get a backup warranty on top of the warranty that you already got on it. But uh, y'all stay blessed up. Y'all stay safe. Stay away from Negative Ned, Negative Nancy. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'm gone. Peace.